Hi everybody, it's Jasmine and today I'm gonna show you guys how to achieve this awesome mermaid look. Um, I played around with a lot of different colors. I played around with purples, pinks, yellows, green, did I say that already? I don't know. But yeah, um, I based my look around my hair, kind of like a pink, but I kind of wanted to do a rainbow. I don't know, I'm really obsessed with rainbow. I kind of want to do a unicorn look next. So if you want to see that, please tell me in the comment section below. And yeah, I don't know. I just really, really enjoy this look and I hope you guys find it really simple to do. And so if you wanna achieve this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with foundation and this is my Maybelline Dream Wonder foundation. It's in the color Natural Beige. And I'm just gonna go ahead and plop this on my face. I'm pouncing this in with a dry beauty blender to get the full coverage because this is really liquidy and I don't want the water to dilute it any further. So in my Urban Decay Electric Palette, I'm going to be taking this really hot pink, it's the color Savage, and I'm going to be filling that in my eyebrows with the e.l.f. eyeliner brush. I'm going to clean up my brows with my Revlon Age Defy Concealer, and this is in the shade Medium. My eyebrows may be pink, but I still want them to be really on point. I really want my mermaid to be really pink based, but yet work with some other colors. So I'm really gonna base it around this palette, along with my Anastasia Artist Palette. I'm taking the color Fresh. This has been my go-to yellow. I love this yellow so much. It's just so vibrant. I love it. So I'm just going to take that on a flat shader brush, and I'm just going to really just pack it on my eyelid. I'm going to make sure that I get my whole eyelid. And to top that off, I'm going to take the color Thrash and I'm just going to go over. This one kind of has a greenish tint to it, so I'm just going to apply that on the very top. So now I'm going to take the color Jilted and I'm just going to pack that onto a blending brush and I'm going to pop this into my crease. So now I'm going to take the color Savage again very lightly and just blend the two colors together. To deepen up the color, I'm going back to my Anastasia palette and I'm gonna take the color Punch Fuchsia and I'm just going to apply this into my crease. I'm gonna go ahead and blend all these colors out just so I could get a nice smoke. So for my lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with some green. This is the Butter London Wink Eye Pencil in the color Jaded Jack. This is a swatch. It is just a really neon pastel green. I'm going to set this green in with the color Freak. So for eyeliner, I'm gonna take the Revlon Color Stay Plum Eyeliner, and I'm actually gonna do this off camera because I don't do gel eyeliner, and so I'm going to be right back. I decided to actually do some colored mascara. This is the Maybelline Great Lash, and it's in the color Icy Blue, and oh, like icy, but it's icy. <laughs> wow, that, that was a really good joke. So my eyes need a little bit of shimmer, so I'm just going to take the NYX 
um, candy glitter liner in the color gold. And I'm just gonna apply that in the inner corners. I'm going to apply some fake eyelashes. These are my stacked Demi Wispies. So I decided that I do not like the glitter. So I'm just going to take that off with a Q-tip. And I don't care if there's extra glitter around the eye. I just don't want a whole clump of glitter in the inner corner. So I'm just going to apply a pearlescent type of shimmer in the middle in the middle, in the corner of my eye. And I'm going to use this NYX Dramatic Chromatic Eyeshadow Pigment. And it is in the color Queen. This is kind of a gold, white type of color. I am going to be applying blush and I'm going to be mixing these three colors from my NARS Virtual Domination Palette and these colors are Deep Throat, Final Cut, and Sex Fantasy. So yes, just, you know, usual. And I'm just going to heavily apply this to my cheeks and I'm using a fairly large powder brush to do this. I'm not gonna use a blush brush because I don't think that it's going to get the effect that I want. I want it really dispersed, yet really, really, really blushed up. I'm going to take this Miss Liberty highlight and highlight the high points of my cheeks. With the Laguna bronzer, I'm going to lightly bronze up my face not too much because I don't want my face to be super, super chiseled. And then my nose. For lips, you can do anything that you want, whether it's blue, purple, green, anything that you'd like, but I have some options for you guys. So this is the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Luster in the color Glitzy. I really like this for this look in particular. Um, when I'm going out or somewhere, I don't really reach for this, but it is such a really nice consistency, really nice wear, and perfect for this look. Second option I have for you is this Revlon Color Stay. The words are rubbed off, but it's in the color Darling. Depending on your hair or your eyebrows, whatever color, if it matches your look, I would recommend this. Um, this kind of and kind of doesn't match my look, but it is a really nice color for everyday wear if you are into really high pigmented pastel pinks. Next, I have this NYX lipstick. It is in the color 601. I thought I had a name to, oh, right here. Um, it's called Castle. Don't get me wrong, I love NYX lip products. Um, they're just amazing, but this one I just cannot wear out in public. I don't see myself wearing it because it is so glittery and it has such a really bright luster to it. So, I mean, I really like the formula of this and I mean, it's a really nice mermaid color, so. Finally, I have a MAC lipstick. It is in the color Girl About Town. And this was actually my first MAC lipstick. It is so hot. Like, I wanted Candy Yum Yum. Uh, but the MAC girl was like, since this is your first um, kind of MAC lipstick, she was like, maybe you should tone it down a notch. So this is a tone down from Candy Yum Yum. But I mean, if you're really into hot pinks, this is for you. If you want to be a hot pink mermaid, then so be it. This is your color. Obviously, this could be your mermaid look. 
people will get it, people will get the concept, but if you wanna take it a little step further, then you can. I'm going to actually take some of these pearls. I got these at the dollar store and they're really affordable, so. I'm gonna start with my pink pearls and I'm going to make it kind of right here. And it's kind of like a contour, but with pearls. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys really enjoy it and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what video you would like to see next. Until next time, I love you guys and peace out Girl Scouts. Under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea.